NelsonTripod.com bringing you another original. It's fucking great. Because this should be fucking great, and instead you're making it fucking terrible. See, those reading classes are really paying off for you, man. Keep it up. It's the 29th of May, and this is a Buttons Bulletin. It's been quite a controversial week this week. Uh, the first news story is that the project Stalker Apocalypse, which was in development, it was a, a Kickstarter, I believe it was, um, has gone completely bust. And there's outrage because anyone that's contributed to this fund is lost out and there's absolutely nothing to show for the game. This is one of the problems with greenlit and Kickstarter games and crowdfunded games. In the olden days, when a game was made, it would be announced and you'd buy it and that's it. Now, you can give money to the developers to make the game, but the problem with this is there's no guarantee whatsoever that that game is actually going to be made. The big game developers cancel games all the time for any number of reasons. It's not good enough, it doesn't match the creative vision that it was meant to. But this trend is getting troubling. We've got our very own Trevor Anderson looking through claims uh, that people make about dodgy developers and basically to see if you can trust a Kickstarter fund that you're going to pay money into. So if you do have any concerns or there's anything you would like a bit more information on, hit us up in the comments on Mouse and Joypad and we'll get Trevor right on that. In more controversial news, Microsoft Studios and 343 accidentally listed a release date for Halo 3 ODST on the Xbox One Marketplace. Now this is going to attach on to the Halo Master Chief Collection. The date was originally meant to be today, the 29th. It's since been withdrawn and Microsoft have said that it was a placeholder and should never have actually gone live. They do say that they're continuing to test the game and they'll let us know when it's ready. Now according to reports, Halo ODST will be free to anyone that purchased the game before a certain date in December to try and make up for all the hassles that they had with the matchmaking. We have some good news for CD Projekt Red. Their hugely anticipated game The Witcher 3 has been confirmed as the biggest selling game this year so far. It beat Battlefield Hardline by a massive 53%. So well done Project Red. You can also check out a review on Mouse and Joypad. You know what to do. The streaming service Twitch TV have updated their rules of conduct which is now going to ban any adult only rated games. Now this is just in advance of the release of the pretty controversial game Hatred. In a response to challenges, Twitch have said, Our goal at Twitch is to create a safe, welcoming, inclusive community where everyone can feel comfortable and have fun. From time to time we update our rules of conduct in pursuit of this goal and to match emerging issues in the video game industry. Now they continue to say, simply put, adult only games are not welcome on Twitch. They've said, generally, if the US version is rated for adults only, 18 plus, or has an equivalent rating in your territory, you should not broadcast the game on Twitch. Overkill and 505 Games have given us a new look at their upcoming release of Payday 2, the Crime Wave Edition. This is for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. In the trailer, we're told a bit about the Ghost skill set and how you can go through your heist without firing a single shot. Pre-order bonuses are still available and you can get a whole load of goodies in the look bag. Now the interesting looking Cohalt has been given a release date of June 10th. In the launch trailer, which is narrated by Sean Bean no less, we see snippets of gameplay, not a great deal of foundation, but it does look interesting. And finally, one for all the zombie fans, and I know there's many of you out there. Capcom have announced that they're going to be releasing Resident Evil Zero HD. Now this is scheduled for release sometime in 2016. We don't have an exact date yet. We don't even know what territories it's going to launch in. But we do know that it's going to come to Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3 and PC. Okay boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. Thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tune into the website, comment and by all means if you've got any concerns over a Kickstarter game, let us know and we'll look into it for you. Thanks for watching. Buttons Bulletins are brought to you by Save a Scotsman. Well, more like... Share with Scotsman looking at this big bloody grizzly bear beside me. Come back next week for more.